this is a solution that they built based on research they did, conversations with clients, and obviously the intent is to address the most common processes and needs uh, around project management. Uh, the solution is available to anyone who signs up for monday.com, but you're not bound to use it as it is. It's not a, a fixed solution set in stone. You can tweak it as you need, uh, or else you can build something completely different as well um, to manage your own workflow and processes. But I think by showcasing their particular solution will really show you the capabilities uh, that Monday has in project management. So before I dive into the actual solution and, and give you a demo of it, um, I just want to touch on some of the um, structure and organization of monday.com. So in terms of uh, hierarchical structure and how we organize all our data and our boards in monday.com, our top level is what we call a workspace. And these workspaces can be set up uh, per teams, per departments, per projects even. In our case, we use them for each, each department has their own workspace and we'll use place all the boards and dashboards that they use to manage their workflows and processes from that workspace. Um, workspaces are in turn um, divided into or organized into folders. And in those folders, you will place all your boards and dashboards. So what we're looking at on screen here is our PMO demo workspace. And these are our folders. Um, you can see we have a high level folder which contains uh, all the boards that are more geared towards oversight um, and overview. Um, so it's a lot of our dashboards are in there. We have a projects folder, um, which will have all the more than nitty gritty detail um, around the project management, as well as a templates folder and a business case analysis folder. If we uh, look at a board, um, the boards are our, our basic building block in, in monday.com where we retain all of our data and, and from those stem the, the dashboards and the views, et cetera. There are essentially five components or dimensions to, to a board. Um, the most basic one is, is an item. So you can see the board looks a bit like a table. Um, each of these rows here is called an item. Um, so that's our first dimension. Um, and all of these items can in turn be organized into what we call groups in monday.com. So each of these headings here with different colors are different groups. Um, and we can set up those groups as appropriate for the particular board or the needs and organize our items accordingly in there. The next component are columns. Uh, Sean mentioned that in his intro. We have various types of columns. The most common are um, the status column, where you can set labels that are relevant to your board. Um, in this case, approved, rejected, or the type of project. Um, and we have a person column where you can allocate tasks to specific people. We have text columns, we have numbers columns, etc. cetera. Um, further dimension or component is sub items. So under each task or item, we can have multiple sub items uh, and break down the task uh, even further. And then views is the fifth component. Very quick look, if you look at a, a view, it takes, it takes the data that you've got sitting in your main board and very simply and easy breaks it down um, into a visual component where you are addressing one specific or prioritizing one specific bit of information that you are trying to convey. All right, so our, our PMO solution kicks off with a, a project approval process, but we actually know before a project even gets to the point where you submit it for approval, you will have done a lot of work on analysis and analyzing the actual business case of the project. So in this case, there's a template set up um, showing you uh, uh, which, which, every project, which every team can use to try and set down their business case analysis for a particular project. So it deals with project, uh, problem definitions, goals, objectives, project performance, uh, milestones, et cetera. 